It's your boy Superturn here to tell you that he recently got sponsored big time by an absolutely trustworthy and definitely not shady app called Speedico in... Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, it's, uh, it's supposed to be Speedy Coin. As you might have guessed from this intro, this video isn't sponsored at all, but instead I will take a huge dump on whatever this app is supposed to be. But Tupitan, are you mentally challenged or something? You could have gotten easy money. Maybe, actually. They offered me 40 cents for anyone who registers to my custom link they give me. But judging by the number of views my random videos get, roughly 20, maybe I could have uh, convinced at least four of those people who watch them. But I know you're all too intelligent to fall for an app pyramid scheme. 4 times 40 equals 160. So that's $1.60. Well, I could have bought some chewing gum with that. So, what is this app? At first glance, I thought they were trying to replace Chinese or Indian robot farms with uh, wee box hungry children. And that's, uh, that's exactly what the app is. The reviews are largely positive for the app because they made sure of it that they are. Then there's a large majority of reviews which uh, give it a bad score. And if someone is unable to receive their reward, and is complaining about it, then the app devs responded with the same copy-pasted text over and over to them. This seems just too good to be true, right? But wait, there's more. After I got suspicious, I asked them to send me some facus, or legal agreements to which I will have to agree later on. To my surprise, they didn't send me anything but a link, which requests me to register first. So you want me to register without being able to check out what I'm in for? Then I found the privacy policy under the app description. It basically boils down to the usual botnet and data mining business you see elsewhere as well. But they also share the information you allow them to see with any other app you download through theirs. If you connect through your Facebook, they know your location, friends, etc. And then share it with other apps you download. There's still more though, because I own an iPhone TM, I looked up the app on the App Store, but it wasn't there. I voiced this issue to them, to which they responded. The app is not available on the iOS App Store since Apple does not allow reward apps on its store. You can nevertheless use the app on iOS from our mobile web page which optimized for iOS users. You can find information for the user here. Very interesting, so they don't like your app. I did a few Google searches as well. I found a handful of small YouTubers who are promoting the app. It was usually users with below 1k subs. Some have also ranted about how it's a scam but honestly, those videos are just people talking without any footage or evidence shown. Uh, it's probably the first brand deal or first sponsor that's ever come along to, to offer them anything. So, of course, a lot of these people are jumping at the chance to do it. And these are people who are getting, you know, they've got 36 subscribers or, or 100 subscribers and whatnot. And they're just jumping at the chance to have the sponsor uh, do the sponsored video uh, and it's the content of what this There was also something else interesting. Two or three of these supporting videos had exactly six likes and one dislike each. Really makes you think. There was also one YouTuber who had League of Legends videos and he had more likes on it, but his whole channel was about uh, scams and stuff like that. So why would anyone start an app like this and start the way they did? 
I think they are probably aware that their app is trash. And it's actually been out for a year now. So they needed some small fish to promote their app because it wasn't making them enough money from all the microtransactions yet. They also probably don't have the desired amount of personal information yet. And they most likely don't have the guts to ask out bigger YouTubers because they know that bigger YouTubers usually have people who they um, discuss sponsorships with. So this means that they assumed that I'm some sort of troglodyte. I live in a cave. I am probably on the lower end of the bell curve. Don't download the app. Don't like or vote up videos which are promoting it. That's it. See you.